My name is Cecile. Hi, I'm Sabina. Hi, I'm Felicia. Hi, I'm Françoise. region in the east of France where people spoke German for a long time before their territory was annexed by the French. Personal diaries and recipe books mention it as the staple of home cooking on Sunday. Apparently people from the east of France when cooking their weekly bread in the communal oven would set aside some dough to make crisp thin tarts covered with a maigen, a mix of eggs, butter, and herbs mainly parsley or chives. These two herbs grew in abundance in every garden. They would also cook a fall version with mushrooms as well as sweet quiche made with eggs, butter, and plums. Mirabelle's or apples. In 1605, a cook in Moonville adds some lard bites to the original savory recipe. The Duke Stanislas of Lorraine had the recipe included in the book written for the use of his personal cooks. After the French Revolution, people became a little more prosperous and the way of cooking changed too. Chefs began to gather regional recipes and made them better. Soon, people used not only bread dough, but pie dough, brioche dough, or puff pastry dough. The quiche became a way to use leftovers. Soon, professional bakers would jump in the fray and use the rest of their dough to sell quiche. In 1869, the quiche made its official entrance in the French Dictionary. Now, here's a funny fact about the quiche, Lorraine, that I'm sure you don't know. There's an association for the defense of promotion of the authentic quiche, whose goal is to fight against pseudo quiche made with salmon, tuna, leek, mushroom, goat, cheese, tomatoes, etc. But today, we will stay true to the authentic recipe. We are going to make a uh, quiche lorraine and uh, you add the explanation. It's from France. East of France is made with the dough and the filling. Françoise and Calista we make, we make the dough and we will make the filling. So, ladies, turn for the dough. Okay, what do we need? 
So we need one cup and a half of bacon. I think we can spread like this in order to have the maximum of surface covered by the bacon. Okay. 
throwing this one, you can mop, just reduce the heat, and you can prepare the baguette, right? So, yeah. Okay, so you have the baguette, and then you can just put it in the oven. fat is coming out that's why you, you treat the bacon before to put it inside the, the door with the filling and because you don't want to have too much fat and it's ready you have to put this turn up yes perfect you have four. And the pepper towel will absorb the excess of fat. You can return the pan on the oven. You go back. And what's the next step? Yeah. Gentle with the dough. Yes, so you pour inside the more. Can we go to the fridge? Yes. Voila. 
noir. So you can start to fill it. Okay, go and I will this one. I'll prepare everything for you. I'm your assistant. Go. Try a little bit. 
I tried it, and I knew I can't catch my dog up. Yeah, probably. There are folks if you want to try this one. Sushi ball. What is it? Be careful now. Wait two seconds. Is it good? Yes. I can tell. Don't try. Too warm or what? It is warm. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Good. So, it was the quiche. So, see you next month for the next adventure of things cook. French edition. Cut.